Hey everybody and welcome back to another Pips and Chits unboxing video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the 2019 Army Painter Battlefields Basing Set. Uh, this should be a little quick one here. I'm going to get right into it. I, I bought this primarily because I'm going to be doing some miniatures here in, uh, within the next couple of weeks and want to finish a current one that I'm doing right now. And I came across this on Amazon. This is kind of like a little sampling of uh, different products that you get. I uh, just want to let you know that it, it retails, I think, on, on the Army Painter website. It's about $15 plus shipping and handling, maybe a, maybe a little bit more. But on Amazon right now, uh, which is where I purchased this, it was uh, surprisingly, it said 33% off. Uh, but it still cost me uh, $19.99. So the uh, other, the retailer that was selling this was actually uh, selling it for closer to $30 at $29.99. And their discount, uh, even at 33% off, was still a little bit higher than the actual Army Painter uh, version of it. But then again, the, the shipping was free. And so it's more or less a wash either way. So let me get right into it and just read the back of it uh, for you really quick. It says, this amazing set has been designed to give you the War Gamer a one box fits all for your miniature bases. Includes all the basing, uh, basic basing materials you need to assemble any miniature army. It also includes a free 50 milliliter basings glue as well as the Army Painter Technique Painting Guide. And if it's what I think it is, the Painting Guide, you can you can download that. It's a PDF from free at Army Painter. So, uh, you know, nice that they include it uh, here, but any, any Army Painter set that you buy of paints, they usually throw that in anyway. So we have a free 50 milliliter basing glue, uh, brown battleground, uh, battlefield rocks, uh, swamp tuft, 35 pieces, and mind you, that this is the only the swamp tough, but Army Painter has about uh, a variety of different uh, tufts that you can buy. Um, there's some summer undergrowth, which I believe is this right here. That's what I primarily got it for. Some battlefield uh, grass and battlefield snow. It says here enough for more than uh, 75 uh, miniatures. So let's go ahead and open it right up. Take the cellophane off. Get the cellophane off the side. Go ahead and crack this open. Okay, put the box to the side. Okay, we have our Army Painter um, painting guide. It's free. Please take one. So yeah, uh, the nice thing though is they do update this from time to time. I've been buying Army Painter stuff, little sets for a couple years now. And uh, I will have to say that they do a pretty decent job of uh, this guide is is, is pretty nice, uh, kind of giving you their range of paints, uh, how how they make their models or kind of follow their effects on how to prep a model, how to uh, prime it, how to, to use the different paints and techniques. Uh, they have highlight charts. Actually, it's not too bad, but again, you can get a PDF, uh, all this stuff from their uh, website as well. But this is actually one of the nicer ones that I saw. Oh, and speaking of the tufts, remember I said they had Swamp Tuft. Uh, I've purchased myself in the in the past for some of my models, this um, uh, metal, metal Flowers. I've got this Scorched Tuft and the Wasteland Tuft, but you can see they have a variety. It looks like 12 different ones that you can buy right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the base aside and let's open this up. Not too fancy of packaging. Do like to say, I do like the rocks. These look like more or less like cork here. I've made my own before just actually taking cork from wine bottles and champagne bottles and, uh, you know, cutting it up doesn't come out as nice as this. This These have a little bit more random shapes to them. And I'm sure you can break these up a little bit more as well. But uh, you can make your own using cork and an X-Acto knife. And as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll just show you here off camera. I uh, let me put some in my hand here. I was making my own rocks and uh, painting them. And as you can see, this is basically cork that I've painted with uh, some primer and then uh, added some uh, different uh, colors, gray colors and black and kind of mixed things up. So uh, 
probably not as big as as these but uh, they get the job done for like the little 28 millimeter bases there so anyway we have a our box of or excuse me a little bag of different rocks here that could that looks like cork put that aside okay here is our swamp tufts it looks like so uh, one size that's one thing if you were to buy them from uh, army painter the set you actually get three different sizes a small medium large these uh gosh just by the size of them in the back they kind of look like they might be the medium sized ones but they give you could a, a decent representation of uh, what you get they're little self-adhesive stickers but i always recommend putting a little dab of glue on the back of them as well and uh, put those on your models. Matter of fact, I'll show you a model that I recently painted. <clears throat> and uh, just to give you an idea, this this model right here, you can see right here, that's one of the tufts. I think it's the scorched earth tuft right there. And this, uh, there's the metal land flower right there. That's also an army painter product. And for you that are wondering where this model came from, this is one that I recently painted for um, uh, Journeys in Middle Earth. This was the Villains Expansion Pack. Okay, moving on really quick. We have our static grass, a bag of static grass. Um, I've never worked with this before. Uh, you just, you know, add a little of the PVC glue on, and then you just sprinkle that out a little bit. And uh, I think that should be... Uh, okay, but it's not a big bag. There, you use some tweezers. And next we have our glue. This is their free 50 milliliter PVC glue. One nice thing I do like about it is the cap that comes, um, I, you can take this cap off right there and plug that right on the top. But be careful when you trim this off. I made the mistake once before of trimming it a little bit too much and uh, and uh, the glue kind of comes out much uh, faster than I wanted to. So in this case here, uh, just be sure that you put the cap on. And when again, when you cut the top off, start with a little, just take the little top off before you get. But basically it's Elmer's glue. It's white PVC glue that you would use in most any kind of project. Next here we have our, I guess, sand here. A little talus, uh, some really small earth colored uh oh i don't know what you would call it some some ground covering here pretty nice that would blend in with a lot of different scenery we have our bag of snow i can say that i've never used this either that'll be interesting to see how this works but uh you know don't let pablo escobar see what this is if you catch my drift but anyway um we got some snow here looks like it's just uh, there must be some static in the bag. I just kind of see how this is moving around in the bag and it's sticking to certain things. So could be uh, very susceptible to static. But the same thing, sprinkle a little bit on, um, you know, dust it off, and that, there's your snow effect. And then finally, we have a bag of summer growth. And this is really nice. I didn't realize that you got a variety of different colors. I thought from the box... Um, here that we only got one color but it appears that we've got three different colors we've got uh, kind of a a yellowish green a more like a forest green and I wouldn't say it's neon green but I don't know swamp green or a kind of a, a really bright green but that's pretty interesting there so you have um, a, a bag of of uh, what do you call that again? What was it called one more time? Summer undergrowth, but you get three different flavors of that. Anyway, there you go. That's the Army Painter uh, Battlefields basing set. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, go ahead and click like and uh, send me a note. To let me know what you think. And again, all this could be yours for roughly about $20. Thank you very much.